Hello everybody, okay, we got a new project. This is uh, <coughs> tracking the uh, International Space Station. I have done one of these before, but it uh, wasn't a good quality video, so I'm doing it again. And uh, this is the way it is set up. As you can see, it's telling us the ice, uh, sorry. So it's tracking the ISS. Latitude 39 uh, <coughs> minus because it's above the northern hemisphere and longitude and the distance from my spot <coughs> at the moment is 11. Sorry, I just want to. Okay, it's 11,000 kilometers, 11,500 kilometers from my location. Okay, and uh, <coughs> this is the um, LED which uh, will lit up when it gets. Uh, I, I put a threshold of about a thousand kilometers when it's close to me, and as you can see on the code. Okay, so you can see on the code that I put a threshold of, I think, a thousand kilometers. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, the distant threshold. I should make it 700 probably because actually sometimes it, it pass over uh, over my area about uh, 350. 350 kilometer okay but you can adjust it to yourself and this is when the when it gets close to a thousand kilometers the LED will lit up okay and um, yeah that's all the other we'll go through just now let's go back to this one <coughs> okay so we have the, the usual, the I2C OLED, it's connected to um, uh, um, uh, C, uh, CSL, it's uh, pin number uh, D1, and D2, it's SDA. SCA and SDA, and then obviously we have here, uh, I think this is five volt, yeah, five volt. Uh, from the railing takes five volt. On the LED, uh, the long, <coughs> sorry, the long um, leg goes to the pin, which is pin number three, and you ground it with the resistor. And it's uh, you can use a two uh, two hundred and twenty ohm or three thirty ohm, and the LED will lit up when the distance about a thousand kilometer in my case. Okay. So I think I cover all this, yeah. And uh, this is a, it's a Vimas and it's a ESP8266. Okay. So on the card side, on the card side, uh, I use a API which is free, and it's uh, this one here, and it's an open source. Okay. It's open source, you subscribe and you just get your free API and it lasts as long as you want. I don't have any problem with this <coughs> with this company. Okay, so there we are. Then the, uh, the code, here we have the code. I put the uh, HTTP begin, it's to initialize the uh, uh, the website okay and then I start from here we have a different library here you need all this library you need Arduino JSON and the maths okay I put secrets here because on this is my uh, uh, ID SSID and my password instead of using it here in the case 
I don't have to publish it. But <coughs> you can double quote you can double quote this if you're not using it like this and then you can uh, unquote this one constant characters and constant okay and uh, here you can put your uh, SSID the name of your network and here you put your password right but I did it opposite because I'm using um, include secret so it's for the purpose but you, if you don't need to do that it's no problem okay so this is my latitude and because he knows my latitude, he will give me the distance. In this case, let's. Uh, he'll give me the distance. Okay. See, if you don't put your latitude, you won't get the distance from you. Where is the International Space Station? And you can see, it's, 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 you know, eventually it'll go past Australia. I'll be about fourteen thousand kilometers from me, and then it'll come back and you know it's rotate around the earth <coughs> all right so on the card side you know you have the um, your location and your distant threshold for the led to lit up and this initialize your uh, your uh, i2c led uh, lcd lcd oled screen uh, display all right and this is the pin mode for the <coughs> LED. So, and it's low when it starts and it goes on when it gets a threshold. Okay, so this is a display. It's going to display an, um, well, text, obviously one, because it's, it's small enough to enter all the information. Um, if it's too big, then you have to flick through pages. All right, so here's the IS tracker. This is what it's going to type. And down here, okay, this is initialize your uh, Wi Fi. <coughs> then you have the, uh, um, this will get the ISS position and check the proximity, okay. And it will work on that if the position of the HSS, you know, whatever it is, it will bring forward. And then here, initialize the the web, uh, the API. Okay. So, and here it's, you know, the information from your, <coughs> the mathematical equation that you need for for looking the for checking the distance of the ISS from your position okay from where you are so we'll have to use the mathematical here with a floating point because they they are not integer <coughs> integers they uh, float they decimal point <coughs> sorry I got a bit of a okay this will show the latitude for it's four digit okay from the do uh, from the point it has four digit and here also four digits the longitude and then you have the cursor 48 which is a position uh, the cursor zero is at the beginning then 16 is a latitude then let me see latitude and then 32 it's a longitude 0 to 32 and then 0 to 48 is the distance okay a distance one one uh, one decimal most of them have um, are put four decimal okay and then the distance in kilometer and you can see here okay they have a four decimal except for the I don't know why does it do that except for the distance it has only one decimal okay so there you are because the latitude uh, does not use kilometers or anything use use uh, the longitude and latitude is the angle of the <coughs> of the planet earth all right so there we are let's go back to the code 
Okay, so, and here we have uh, if the uh, distance is within the threshold, it's bigger or equal, uh, it's, l uh, it's less or equal the distance threshold, it will lit up uh, uh, LED pin high or else LED pin low, okay? So it will be uh, on or off. In case of parsing, uh, obviously they it will have to parse the information to be converted for for us to read it correctly. I'll put an explanation here. Convert a C++ object like a structure classes in information for uh, for for us to read it. Okay. So this is how the uh, main library that you're going to need is Arduino J JSON um, maths.h. Okay, and you need this too because it's an ESP. It's an ESP8266. If you ha if you have a, a ESP32, then you use a different one. Okay, this is a Adafruit uh, GFX. Uh, this is for initialize the Adafruit initialize the ssd uh, 1306.h initialize the oled and this work on the graphic uh, gfx are the graphic so this is the graphic library okay i think i spoke enough back to this project <coughs> I, sometime i'm gonna stuck here all right, so the distance now is 12,000 kilometers. Okay, and then let's see. Remember this website. I have, I will put uh, the uh, the URL on the uh, on the YouTube channel. Okay, guys, thank you very much, and have a great uh, great Easter. Have a good day. Okay. I just try to keep it for a thumbnail. All right, guys. Bye.